I have breaking good news about Tesla Giga Berlin this morning, friends. Brandenburg's government considers water supplies around Tesla to be secure. Water supply is a major issue for Tesla Giga Berlin, but now the Brandenburg government sees the water supply in the region and that of the Giga Berlin factory as secure. Of course, Green League and Nature Conservation Union had sued and don't think it that way. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for breaking Tesla Giga Berlin and Giga Factory Austin and general Tesla electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up if you find this report helpful. So their Tagesspiegel Spiegel reports that Brandenburg's government considers water supplies around Tesla Giga Berlin to be secure. According to the Brandenburg government, there is no need to worry about sufficient drinking water in the region around the new Tesla factory in Grünheide near Berlin. Here's a quote. The state government does not see the drinking water supply of 170,000 people in the catchment area of the Water Association Strauberg Ergner and the water supply of Tesla as being at risk, said Environment Minister Axel Vogel. Uh, from the Greens party on Wednesday in the state parliament in Potsdam in response to a question. I said catchment area. I myself was not familiar with that word. It's the action of collecting water, especially the collection of rainfall over a natural drainage area. This is called uh, water catchment. Okay. Uh, for example, water catchment continues the whole year around. So catching water. Now, this is the good news. The lawsuit brought by the environmental associations, which is the subject of the proceedings, is directed against the increase in the approved water withdrawal quantities in the Eggersdorf Waterworks by 1.2 million cubic meters per year, not against the original decision from 1976 for around 2.5 million cubic meters of water in the year. The Green League and the Brandenburg Nature Conservation Union have filed a lawsuit against the State Office for the Environment because of the approval for the higher water withdrawal in the waterworks in 2020. From their point of view, among other things, environmental load checks are missing. The WSC, the Water Association, had warned that the association would lack around 4 million cubic meters of groundwater for abstraction if the approval of Giga Berlin granted for the water intake in Eggersdorf was questioned by the actions of the responsible state authority. This endangers the public drinking water supply for 170,000 people in the association area. The administrative, administrative court in Frankfurt order negotiated the case verbally on February 11th. Now, uh, good news is that according to Brandenburg government, there is no need to worry about sufficient drinking water in the region around the new Tesla Giga Berlin factory in Grünheide near Berlin. Well, friends, I'm going to bring you more information about this, especially, I don't know, there is one information that uh, one area, Petershagen Eggersdorf, advised on stopping construction projects due to lack of water. I may see, I may report that la uh, report later today. This is Armin Haryan from um, TurkNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle breaking news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Uh, guys, please give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll look forward to reading your comments. What do you think about these developments? When do you think Tesla Giga Berlin will finally will be approved going through all of these difficulties? Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. And let's see move on to move on to our next tesla story things at tesla giga berlin are going so well that we can count or more than about 100 model y vehicles built at giga berlin and parked at the parking lot of giga berlin today tobias lind who regularly chronicles giga berlin's progress construction and so on has point posted a new video you know he usually flies his drones over giga berlin and wrote that i count more than 100 model y's in the parking lot now so now you can see these images that are screenshots from Tobias's video. Now it looks like good. Looks like Tesla is use, lose, uh, doing an intensive use of its permit to build Giga Berlin's uh, Model Ys for test purposes, and hopefully they're getting better and better. Now you know that they're uh, allowed to build 500 uh, Model Ys each week, 2,000 for this entire week. And as yesterday I was speaking with a Giga Berlin employee, he said that um, that uh, these vehicles will be scrapped, and uh, Tesla has to provide a proof that this vehicle 
that it has disposed of those test vehicles. Tesla cannot sell these vehicles, but some of them will be used for internal transportation for the company purposes, not for sale, but internal transportation for the company purposes. And as I reported a couple of days ago, uh, two of these will be used to pick up Elon Musk uh, from the airport when he visits. Speaking of that, there was a conversation yesterday that, you know, last week there were rumors that Elon Musk will visit the company this week and uh, he said it's not true he's not going to comment on rumors and he said that this is becoming a security issue and because of that in the future friends i will not uh, comment on his uh, upcoming trips unless those are confirmed uh, in the media and will not act on rumors and i apologize if i participated with that unknowingly friends uh, so what do you think about these giga berlin's vehicles i'm glad things are coming alone hopefully the final permit will come very soon and tesla will be able to produce and deliver cars deliver cars and i'm expecting this week uh information from my contact uh, uh twitter follower on uh, from slovenia in europe who said that tesla gave him a call and said that you know this week they will send him email or uh, something on paper uh expect uh, telling him when to expect his model y performance he asked local uh, office they said model y is not model y's performance is not shipped from china or the united states so it is coming from Giga Berlin. So hopefully by the mid end of February, if Tesla gets the final permit uh, in early March, Tesla will start deliveries of Model Y performance to German uh, customers as well as in Eastern and Western Europe. So what do you think about these images? There's more than 100 Model Ys from uh, Tesla Giga Berlin. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. These images are from uh, January 18. And um, have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. Uh, please subscribe to our channel for follow-ups on this issue i'm going to look at tobias's video and see what other interesting things he has because in second section of the video it's about the battery factories construction so i'll look at that video and let you know what's happening something special if something special is happening at the battery factory construction at giga berlin which is expected to be the largest electric vehicle battery production um, uh, in the world once it reaches the its full capacity well friends have a wonderful rest of the day look forward to our next tesla story god bless you and peace with with all of you please give us thumbs up if you find this report informative it seems that tesla giga berlin will start deliveries of model y in march 2022 and all signs are pointing to that date welcome back dear friends this is armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are here a first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell before you because uh, not, not to miss my next tesla coverage yesterday i received a little message from a person from slovenia in europe who has ordered the Tesla Model Y performance version. He says, I'm from Slovenia, Europe. I have one on order Tesla Model Y performance. Today, I got a call from Tesla that I will get news on the exact day of arrival next week. If you are interested, I can send you a photo then, kind regards. And he said that they have guaranteed to me on the phone that it will come from Berlin because at least in Slovenia, they said that they will not ship performance Model Y from Shanghai. They have guaranteed that my car is from Giga Berlin and that in the next week I will get official date for delivery. When I get it on paper, I will send it to you. So I'm going to bring you as soon as I hear some information on paper from this person, from my source in Slovenia. But please also subscribe to this channel so you don't miss my next coverage. In the meantime, I see in the media that all signs, to po all signs point to March deliveries from Tesla Giga Berlin. Tesla made several changes to its website in Germany and other European countries last night. And all of them point to Giga Berlin deliveries beginning in March 2022. The most obvious change to the design studio was new range estimates for the long range LR and performance model Y. The more important change that could have easily been missed was the performance variant finally showed a specific estimate delivery date March 2022 instead of generic early 2022. Making it more interesting was that only the black or white paint options would give you the new date. Both colors have previously been suggested as one that will start production at Giga Berlin. By the way, my source from Slovenia also said that he had ordered the white color performance model Y. Now, this change didn't confirm they would be made in Germany instead of being exported from
from China. But everything else that happened along with it did. The most obvious is the source code of the order page, which is under the comment new performance stream launch in Berlin. And Tesla apparently didn't like this source code being discovered as it has later been removed. And um, so it was it uh, if it wasn't enough from the source code comments for with model y performance cars on order in europe so updates to their account whereas uh, whereas previously the accounts were saying they would be contacted as the delivery date nears reservation holders only with black and white paint can now finalize their orders up to the point of making the final payment given all of the above it is clear that tesla now believes they will be able to begin deliveries of Model Y performance SUVs from Giga Berlin in March or possibly even sooner. Elon Musk is also reportedly heading to Germany this weekend. Um, apparently he is in Germany. We will know today. The first time he has visited the country since October. Could a big announcement be coming? I think so. So I'm hoping that later today we will have big announcement from Giga Berlin. At least Elon Musk being there and taking care of some business. So if you're not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel for the biggest and the latest coming from Giga Berlin as I'm uh, watching the news uh, from German media, from US media and on Twitter. And if there is something breaking, I will bring it to you. Now, while Tesla waits for the final approval from German officials, the factory Giga Berlin is still producing Model Y test cars. A drone flyover from January 11 shows the parking lot now has been more than 60 newly built Model Ys, the majority of which are black color and I see one uh, white color too. So this is very exciting friends we may see very big announcement coming giga berlin later today so please subscribe to our channel this is armin haria from torquenews.com give us thumbs up and like this video share in social media please i would greatly appreciate it guys and let me know your thoughts have you heard anything if you have heard anything please uh, send me a message i would be interested i would report it immediately if it's a breaking news so have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next tesla, tesla story. is now beating german automakers volkswagen BMW, Mercedes on their own turf, even without Giga Berlin. So what do you think about this, friends? Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. German auto data for 2021 shows that Tesla is beating German car makers, Volkswagen, Mercedes, BMW on their own turf when it comes to electric vehicles. That's even without Tesla Giga Berlin, which has yet to start production. Maybe sometimes, hopefully, Giga Berlin will start production. Mid February, as I reported early this morning, the German auto market was down 10% in 2021 as supply chain issues and broader economic effects from the this virus situation are still being felt. But the good news is that the electric vehicles are up significantly in the market over the same period. Notes electric on its latest coverage, and I will have the link in the description of this video. All electric and plug-in vehicles now represent 14% of the market and over 355,000 units. Tagesschau put together a list of the top best-selling all-electric vehicles in the market and Tesla topped the list, beating German car maker. First one is Tesla Model 3. Volkswagen E up is the second. Volkswagen ID3 is third. And then respectively come Renault Zoe, Smart EQ42, Hyundai Kona Electric, Skoda Enyaq Electric, Volkswagen ID4, Fiat 500e, BMW i3. You see that, that BMW i3 was the tenth. You see now you saw in this list Tesla and actually from German com companies you saw Volkswagen. I think Skoda is owned by Volkswagen 2, BMW, Mercedes even is not in the list. Every German car maker saw their sales go down in 2021 and some of them like Mercedes-Benz were down significantly. For example, uh, Mercedes-Benz in 2020 sold 303,185 uh, vehicles and in 2021 from 303,000 it came down to 225,392 
vehicles and there is a list in the description in in the link in the description of this video so now in the meantime tesla was up look at this 137 percent in the german market in 2021 with 39,000 units delivered in the year now again this is without giga berlin still selling vehicles producing and selling vehicles in germany the most impressive thing is that tesla is achieving this result by still only importing uh, vehicles electric vehicles teslas in the market mainly from uh, china and also united states the car maker has built a giant new factories i have said many times and reported in germany in grunheide known as gigafactory berlin uh, and uh, we hope that the production will start and ramp in uh, february and ramp throughout the year um so what do you think if you what would you do if you were a german car maker um electric in its coverage of this story says i've stated for years that i think some giants will fall in the automotive industry's transition to electric vehicles for now i think the germans are in a better position than the japanese but they should still be nervous the german auto market is big on buyers certainly fail local brands if the domestic automakers aren't doing well locally like mercedes-benz and audi being down 25 percent and 15 percent respectively it's a real problem and electric says so from what i'm hearing tesla is expected to get a big boost in germany once uh, it can buy cars coming out of gigafactory berlin i mean once germans can buy cars coming out of giga berlin even though tesla is an american company there is a lot of german engineering in its cars especially since the company bought Groman engineering and now with the vehicles being built in the country and i know that tesla as a company wants to do everything all supplies locally so there is there's going to be like a german tesla i guess um, as a result I, uh, and electric says i wouldn't be surprised if tesla is in the top auto brands in germany by the end of 2023 which would have uh, inconceivable which would be actually in would have been inconceivable just um, few years ago and um, it, the German car maker car market is a big market and uh, they local uh, they favor local brands like I said but Tesla is becoming one of the favorites look the coverage that it received about German uh, Giga Berlin well friends let me know your thoughts what do you think about this situation and uh, Tesla's place in the German car maker even without Giga Berlin this is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to this channel so you will receive the follow-ups and give us thumbs up um, uh, for this uh, story if you found it informative and you useful and i would appreciate it if you guys would share in social media have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next tesla story